It's what we've seen LeBron James uh, do his entire ago? career. Yeah, but by the way, we saw Michael Jordan do that his entire career. You want to put Jordan on an NBA floor you, right are, now? Are that you was telling me? Are you telling me yeah. that LeBron James physically is not ready for a high-level NBA I, hold season? On. I have no idea if LeBron is capable of continuing to be the best player in basketball. But I thought before he got hurt, a healthy Kawhi was nipping at his heels anyway, because Kawhi had turned into the, a guy who was capable of being the focal point offensively on a championship team, and he's one of the greatest defenders ever, and he's in his physical prime, and he just won his second MVP of the finals, yep. right? And he'll take the other team's best perimeter player, or even big, and shut them down, you know, every single night while he's giving you nearly 30 on the other end. By the way, efficiently and in crunch time, right? So I hear what you're saying about LeBron, but it's been a grip since he has been in the playoffs making a run. It's a couple seasons ago already, and he didn't win. He didn't have the crew to win, but okay, he didn't, we haven't seen LeBron as the last man standing in a minute now, and we haven't seen him in the playoffs. It'll be almost, by the time he makes the playoffs, two years since the last, so we don't know for sure, but we know for sure about Kawhi. That's a bad dude right now, and as of right now, you want to say it's because LeBron's been in exile, that, that Kawhi's got the chip? Fine, but Ka Kawhi's got the chip. He's sitting on the throne right now. Right at this moment, he's the best player in the NBA. If you want to say LeBron will reclaim the throne, let me go see him do that. That's one. Two, roster, you're right. Lakers got the best roster in the league. Roster doesn't mean team. The Clippers, with a, against a healthy KD-led Warriors team, fully loaded Warriors team, went six games, won 48 regular season games, and then won six against the Warriors and then replaced Gallinari and Shea Gilgis-Alexander with Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. By the way, they're coached by Doc Rivers. Think of the way the pieces fit now. If you have two attack dogs who can kill you on defense and score on the other side uh, uh, and can get out and transition, do the whole thing, right? What kind of point guard you got? you need? You want a real dribble penetrator who monopolizes the ball? Nah. You need a guy to get those guys the ball who can play defense and shoot threes. I don't know, a guy like Patrick Beverly. How's your sixth man? Lou Will, Shamit can shoot the ball. I mean, Harrell is a good big. Like, they have all the things they need, plus the experience together, the rest of the team, plus the coach. The Lakers don't have that stuff. The Lakers have LeBron and AD and a bunch of name brands that we don't know how much they have left or how good they really I'm not are. Ready, I'm not ready to relinquish. It, see, here's the conversation we have. I'm not relinquishing the throne from LeBron James because LeBron James has done more for his basketball team than any other player in the league. Mm -hmm. Any True other player story. in the league. Not the Lakers, but for teams. For yeah. a team, yes. period. Mm -hmm. So when we start talking about how, how does – I understand where you're coming from when you say Kawhi Leonard right now as it stands. You can look at him as the best player in basketball. I can't look at Kawhi Leonard as the best player in basketball right now because Kawhi Leonard won this championship with the odds stacked for him. That's number one. I saw LeBron win with a lesser team. Beat a Golden State Warriors team. I saw that happen. Number two, when we start having this conversation about Kawhi. What, five years ago, you talking about? I saw that too, five years ago. Max, you... 27 and 7 and 7 last year yeah, but with a bad the, basketball they didn't make team. The playoffs. Max, how much does that have to do with the team and first time being injured? Mm -hmm. This was the first time we saw LeBron miss time. Okay, you, okay, you, okay, but you're giving the benefit of the doubt to an aging player with more miles on his legs than anyone who ever lived to maintain this level of play Max, who just missed the playoffs. Have we seen anything like him? No, not this level of longevity, no. So every day he does so it, why, he's resetting the so record. Why, so why wouldn't I give him the benefit of the doubt? Based on what he's shown me. Oh, I'll tell you why. Because a couple years ago, he stopped being the best player all the time and started just being the best player in the playoffs, right? Because he needed to preserve himself. KD was better in the regular season. Steph was better in the regular season. Arguably James Harden. But then when, when crunch time came, LeBron separated himself they and showed you what's what. They didn't low manage Kawhi this year? But here's the problem. Here's the difference with Kawhi. Kawhi's not KD who had to join a championship team that won 73 games in order to get his chip. Kawhi is not Steph Curry who's undersized or James Harden who has choked under pressure. Kawhi is that dude who was a finals MVP when he was a puppy and didn't even yep. know how to play offense yet. And then he developed into an MVP caliber player. See, and now see, he's 27 see, see, coming off a finals here's, MVP. Here's the, here's, the, here's the problem that I have with you sometimes on this Kawhi situation. 
All right. You you don't me and you sat on this show and talked to Ryan Hollins about him disowning the fact that KD played with Steph and Clay and it was easier, a uh, easier role for him. So so we don't like nobody talks about Kawhi. You say MVP season, MVP finals. We he played for Pop. Tim Duncan was on that team. Well, last year. Tony Parker was on that team. Last year, mm -hmm. the whole Warriors team got hurt. Well, listen. And I'm not, this is not about Kawhi if, not being great. This Marcus, is But it, Kawhi, Kawhi did not have the team last year that LeBron had when he beat the 73 win Warriors. He didn't have Kyrie. He didn't have Kevin Love. He didn't have that kind of a crew. So he was going to lose to, and by the way, that crew would have lost to a KD Warriors anyway. That was before KD got there. Marcus. What he did last year on the way to the finals, Max, beating the Embiid series. and Simmons. Yep, yep, but yep. by the way, I'm beating the Sixers. Freak, he shut down the Freak four consecutive yep. games. Yep, and you know who else I've seen do that? Yeah, back then, we don't know if he still can. But you can't. Listen, you are talking about, I understand you in the moment. I understand that. But your moment is predicated on the fact that LeBron James wasn't in the playoffs. Max, he went to eight straight. He went to eight straight, and he averaged almost a 30-7-7. Wait, wait, like wait. We, if you're saying who is going to go down in history as the greater player, it's a no contest, LeBron James greater than Kawhi Leonard. You, I'm not right now. Right now. A 27-year-old to a 34-year-old. I'm here right now telling you that this is based off of your recent history. I'm not ready to say LeBron isn't the best player in the NBA. I'm not ready to say that That's right now. That's the right. Now. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.